على تيك توك كده هو نزلت افتر ذات Better than in Cairo. Cairo is. Uh, yeah. Cairo because a lot of people are living there. Twenty two and a half million people living in one city. I think it's just one million point three. So a bit different difference, but. Uh, Uh, we will start uh, 
sacrifice the God, sacrifice it for the God, the offering for the God, uh, bring for the God. But after that, over there, you'll find just more shelter, you'll find just more shelter. So life and death, sunshine and sunset. Their gifts and their uh, um, their um, their stuff or their presents for the god Egyptian gods Amura. Also, the Greeks were um, uh, not not like that. The Greeks had uh, had their uh, own god in their home, mm -hmm. but when they came here, they would like to be in peace with us. They would like to live in uh, a good way. For that reason, the uh, Greeks. Um, uh, Greeks and Romans, both of them, living more than 700 years here in Egypt. They were well. here for a long time. Why? Because they, they appreciate our gods, they respect our gods, and don't make any struggles between the Egyptian gods and Greek gods, or Roman gods. They were so clever. Uh, it's better to respect the other side. Exactly. So, here it was a bridge. It was a bridge, and it was a river. The river Nile. That I was thinking yes. right now. Yes, the river Nile, the river Nile was uh, till here, arrived here. Oh. Water was till here. From there till yes. here. Yes, yes. Wow. Oh, it was the river Nile. It was very, very wide. It was really a huge. But because uh, high dam we have now here in Aswan, high dam. Aswan high dam. And that high dam, it's not allowed for more extra water uh, um, get in Egypt. So, now the river Nile became a little bit small. Okay, so I told you that we have late time. In late time, the priests start to uh, rule Egypt in the city of kings. Start to be the real uh, power, and the king he was nothing. The king he was just uh, um, like uh, like toy or like. Uh, um, uh, marionette, mm -hmm. uh, but he don't have uh, any role, he don't have any uh, permission to say yes or no. But the priests who got Amora, they could to uh, rule everything, they could to control everything. So they built for themselves, built for themselves such as two obelisks. We had here one and another one here. All that was not allowed for the priest to own such this obelisk, just king. And as well, they had written their names in cartouche, that form called the cartouche. Only the king has right to write, has right to put his name inside, but the priests in late time, in the last six dynasties an hour, uh, for a long time, they start to be more powerful, more than the kings. So they start to write their names it's inside the cartouche. Oh. Okay. Look for that excavation area here. We have too, too much uh, uh, stuff, too much uh, uh, treasure still underground. So you'll find too much excavations in there. Till now they keep finding stuff. Too much. Wow. Oh, now not more than 10 percent from our treasure under the count of this uh, city. Tell too much, too much treasure. So too much exhibitions be coming from different countries to visit Egypt and walking here and fit here and digging Where? in different. And the, sure and, and, and can help you. Okay. Uh, and digging in different that uh, that scene. The king is standing in front of one of the gods, and the gods give him the key, uh, the key in his mouth. Oh. That meaning that already that man he will be in heaven. God give him permission. God give him that the key, key to be there. Just with uh, Hama and Chazer, look for such figures more than three thousand years, and still will be there. It's really amazing. Sandstone more than 3,000 years old and still will preserve it. And, and everyone have a different shape? The same shape. The same? Yeah, the same one. Okay. Got okay. Uh, All I, uh, of the same. figures the same. All the figures here, same. Are the same, Bam. okay. Look for the second one here, here in that row. The second one here one row, in that row is very amazing. Well preserved. The most preserved one. And our king, Karam II, stand between the paws of that figure of, of God, Amorah, and uh, holding his hand in his hand. He's really so satisfied. He already he got his prize. He got his 
uh, is going, the key of life. Look for the stone, how very heavy stone with with from one till three tons each one, each block. So one hundred ten meters uh, wide uh, and one hundred meter wide, uh, forty and a half meters high and fifty meters. Show please your ticket, you take what we give to you, show please your ticket. Yes. <laughs> we are now in the first section. We are now in the first section, uh, the section of normal people. And the, the question which usually in our minds how they could build in buildings such as a huge pylon. Look here for that ramp, for that descending passage, such as a smart trick. It was the only system to building. They put our their stones down on wooden uh, ground and then by rubs. Uh, um, grab it well and boil it. Sometimes, such as uh, the troops uh, damaged, such as the stones fell down, and all the people down, they will be dead. dead. So, too much people sacrificed themselves, too much people died in order to build for us, such as pilots. It is not uh, easy. Um, our blood. We're bleeding here and anywhere to build such as violence and such this amazing temple. Here are three troubles to, uh, um, to worshiping our three gods, Amura, Mood, Khonsu. Three troubles here were built in the time of King uh, Siti II, one of the kings who ruled Egypt, 18th dynasty, and he would like to uh, worship the three gods, so he built here the three troubles. The first trouble in the middle to dedicate to God Amura, second one to dedicate God. Uh, it got uh, mood and third one dedicated God also. The three created for us one God. Mm. Look for that scene over there. You find God's mood. God's what? mood giving our king six seconds that key of life in his mouth. You have to see that one. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. focus on me. Be focused. Look here. Our God's mood giving our king from the second. He, uh, that key of life in his mouth. On the other side, you'll find Horus. Another, another Hi, god, um, another god, Horus, who is falcon headed. When you see god or figure with the falcon headed, his name Horus, and he's giving now uh, the key of life in the mouth for King Ram II. Okay? So, three chops, three chops to do worship the three gods, Amura, Mut, Mut, the three uh, holy gods for that city. The first name for that city, Luxor, looks is very new. The first name was Waset, Waset Dorted Septa. Second name, when the Greek came, they called that one. So, here, the inside the finishes. Um, we had three uh, golden sacks for the three gods, Amora, Mut, Khonsu, and Khonsu. Uh, they had stolen all of them. Everything is gold. Done. Okay. Here our king is standing. Usually, the left, uh, the left leg forward and the right one. Right. Look here, how is the position of his legs? The position of his legs, left leg forward. Left uh, leg forward and the right one back. Why? Why? Like that? Mm -hmm. To say that my heart is still working. I'm still alive. My heart still work, I'm still alive. And he's like fighting everything in his hand for the three cards. Amura, Mut, Wonsu. The three cards as well here. Look here. One more. You find our king as well with the same position. Sacrifice the three cards Amura for the, uh, for the three cards Amura, Mut, Wonsu. He was there kid when he had sent the throne. Put Amsha Amun, he was just eight years old when he sent the throne and he died when he was around 18 years, 18 years old. And he left for us here that Alabasta Sphinx in that holy place of God Amura, head of man, body of life. And Alabasta is very hard stone, it's very, very hard. But uh, the ancient Egyptian workers, they never uh, imagine or never uh, thinking uh, about that, uh, that subject, this hard or, uh, or light. They used all kinds of stones. They used all kinds of stones. So Alabasta, and today in our program we're, we're going to visit that Alabasta factory to see how such as the stone is very hard. Is it? Okay, head of man, butterfly. That's mixture combination between the, uh, the, uh, the 
children and intelligent. They would like to say for us, I'm very, very intelligent, I'm very uh, clever, I'm very smart, and as well as the same time, I'm very strong. Do they have other palm trees or other things? Yeah, so 10 columns. We had here 10 columns, but unfortunately, it was very, very strong. Uh, 27 after the first skies, nine, uh, nine of them uh, destroyed and fell down. So we have here supposed to find 10 columns. It was uh, uh, wiped by our king Shahrak with the first dynasty late time. But unfortunately, because very, very strong uh, airspeak uh, happened uh, 27 uh, after the skies, that uh, nine columns unfortunately destroyed and just one over there standing with the Zabit plasma. Normally, all was like them. Yes, normally, all of them were like that. Five and five. But unfortunately, nine of them destroyed were destroyed by such as airspeak and just one 12 meters. And cap that takes the shape of lotus. You'll find here a small temple for King Ramses III. Ramses III, he was one of the kings who ruled Egypt in the uh, 20th dynasty, uh, uh, around 1100 BC. And our king here, he uh, figured two statues for himself uh, in front of the first pylon. There's uh, two statues standing usually with the same position, left forward, uh, forward uh, so left leg forward and the right one back, and he holding his stamps in his hand, and he's wearing double crown, white and red crown together, to say I'm the only king for the whole of Egypt. And as well, he, uh, he adorned his face or, or his head with cobra and vulture, to say I'm the only king for the whole of Egypt. And here we find our king here holding his scepter and uh, um, um, hitting our, uh, his enemies down here. He holding the hair of his enemies on the other hand and he hitting his enemies with his scepter. And then he sacrificed all his enemies for God Amora. And the same over there, you will find the same scene, but just the difference between that one and that one. Red crown and white crown. Red crown and white crown. And White crown, lower Egypt and upper, and uh, upper Egypt. Okay, so the same scene. Our king holding his scepter, hitting his um, his enemies, and after that, sacrifice all the enemies for God, Amara. Here, one of the main statues we have here, the statue of our king Ramses II, and uh, under, under the down here, we'll find the small statue for his wife, okay. <laughs> Behind okay. me. So here, we'll find that statue. Let's start here for our King Ram the second and his wife Nefertiti and he would like to say I can't live without her, she must be with me. So I can move my legs a few minutes. Uh, the artist who would like to make for us a statue or, uh, or draw for us a, a drawing for the king, he must to draw for us the, uh, that figure with fourth period. That means um, I, I have enough experience I can rule Asia. The fact is the fourth period, the symbol of experience. <laughs> <laughs> And they thought without that beard, the king, he would never be a good king. <laughs> <laughs> but what happened with the young kid? <laughs> as well, with the same, he's the same beard. Okay. Well. So, did, and, did, and Amun, although, although he was very, very, very small, uh, young, and uh, was ten, uh, nine years, but all his statues and all his uh, drawings uh, representing him was hot beard. With, okay. <laughs> representing him was hot beard. It was like, it was like low. The king, he must be with Fafia. Yeah. That inscription is here, with hieroglyphic, and this is the first language appeared in the whole of the universe. The first language appeared in the whole of the universe. Here, my daughter and my son named in hieroglyphic, inside the cartouche, and all such as symbols uh, refers to uh, letters. So if you would like to say uh, R, so R, if you would like to say N, N, if you would like to see, uh, to say uh, T, T, so uh, if you would like to, uh, um, here, M, 
so the letters, 28 letters, exactly like an And Ireland. how they make the hieroglyphic at, at the walls? They make it after when the stone was here? Yes, okay. they already have written. Okay. After, after finished building, uh -huh. they had written all the inscription on the walls. And 40 years more writing. <laughs> uh, writing, so it was very, very important to write well. and to uh, register everything, to document everything, to keep the secrets of ancient Egyptian history for us. Without, without such as inscriptions, which are already found on the walls of our temples, and everything it will be disappeared, everything it will be gone. So the ancient Egyptians, they were so interested to writing everything on the walls of their temples to um, to keeping the secrets to make us very uh, uh, very full of knowledge after that. You find the date over there, one eight eight seven, and you'll find the board by done. Need flat. Have you need flat and water? To reach, reach it till here. There was water. Yes, exactly. It was water until here. When? No. 1887. 1887. Haven't you that mean flood and make the whole of that temple underwater? Still here. Mitici, Ecochi. in one of the amazing sites in the whole of Egypt, who are now in the uh, uh, Columns Hall, or the uh, greatest uh, gates hall of King Ram II, with 134 columns. Columns Hall. 134 columns we have here, existed here, in that hall. It took more than 40 years to build. 40 years to build that 134 columns. Uh, he has cut for our King Ram II, and his God, God, and he has got Amara, but unfortunately, the start of King Ram II without him. Okay, so. so far away from all the danger, so you can come here and break with God. So the two columns, the two rows of columns in the middle, they are higher more than the rest. But here so, now is for the rich people. Uh, it's the second section, the second section. Okay, so the two rows in the middle are 20 meters, and the rest 19 meters. Uh, and there is uh, 19, 19 meters. Okay. Uh, and you'll find all the cap We had over the, these two pedestals uh, as well two obelisks, but unfortunately, because very strong earthquake, 27, uh, after this, guys, the two of them fell down. Yeah. 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 And here we have the amazing object for our king to come out of the house. 130 tons, and that is done over there, down with around 20 tons. So totally, with for both of them, 150 tons. And she holds in here two hands and two times. And now in heaven, I already got that uh, key of life with me, and now I have the permission to take it. The second of them, too. But unfortunately, because that earthquake uh, uh, destroyed two pieces, we have one piece here and the other one uh, um, laying uh, beside the holy, uh, holy lake. If you found snake without like that, that yacht and that F. So sometimes without these two. Without this thing, yeah. yeah. I want a picture like you. Just nine years old. 
she was, she was a sister? No, yes, exactly. She was half sister. Half sister. He he must to get married one of his sister, half, one of his uh, uh, half sisters to get the holy blood because he was not he was not from the holy family. So he was an uh, illegal king in order to make his uh, crown legal. He had to get married one of his uh, uh, half sister, and uh, she was very young. She was just eight years old, nine years old, and he was eight. So. So, well, now the Holy of the Holy, just the high priest and the king, they have permission to be here. Just to pass. Look for the ceiling. With amazing stars, exactly like uh, stars. Like, like sky. Where's too much? Stars. And here you will find our king here. His name is Philip the Abbas. He was the brother of Alexander the brother of Alexander the Great. And he is sacrificing and praying for God on Morah. So it was the first, in the beginning, in the beginning, that area too, it was built by our king to promote the self. But after that, Philip uh, and Yahweh, you can say, he started to grow. Uh, <laughs> yes, and the last one, Hato, he was, uh, she was special for love and happiness. Babe. The Bible, which brings the water to, uh, to the king. So it was the holy, of the, uh, it was the holy, uh, the holy uh, lake. The king and high priest before go to uh, before go uh, to the holy of the holies and pray for the God. They must first uh, themselves here uh, purify uh, themselves here washing. Then he can go over there and pray for the God. So that one we call it the sacred lake because the king and high priest they must first uh, themselves washing and then go. Irgendwas nicht in Ordnung? Ja. Alles okay? Ya 
pues ahorita estamos por el río Nilo en un paseo de 30 minutos eh, es bonito, es bonito y pensar que todos los personajes de la historia del antiguo Egipto pues han pasado por estas aguas es un poco impresionante, no sé, al menos para mí eh, aquí al frente podemos ver un poquito, no sé, de la ciudad eh, acá el don más del barco, tenemos el barco para nosotros solos pues porque el tour que nosotros eh, escogimos es exclusivamente para nosotros eh, ay miren 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 no, no se va a alcanzar a ver pero dice que es el museo de las momificaciones allá aquí al frente de nosotros baby look momification museum Okay. Quise mostrarles, pero me olvidé. Habían unos cruceros que hacen eh, cruceros eh, por el río por una semana. Pues estoy un poco decepcionada de que está bastante sucio el río para hacer un algo tan tan icónico de este país deberían debería estar limpio la gente debería ser más cuidadosa pero bueno es mi opinión personal eh, estos si ven aquí al frente son como tours para más personas o no sé si serán gente que trabaja que, que viven en el área no lo sé eh, en la mañana no pude bloquear realmente honestamente estaba durmiendo en el, todo el camino eh, salimos del hotel a las 5 de la mañana despertamos a las 4 de la mañana salimos a las 5 de la mañana y de ahí pues llegamos a las 9 y poco aquí a Luxor recuerden que nosotros estamos en Urgata que es en el medio de Luxor y en el medio de Cairo o sea que para las dos cosas hemos pues viajado mucho han sido tours cansados Gracias a Dios he podido hacer algo acá en este tour, he podido hacer un poco más fotos, un poco más de clips Pero tampoco he filmado mucho porque la verdad hay que tener un poco de respeto con el guía turístico Y no es que le voy a ignorar todo el tiempo Pero pues en, se escucha de fondo la, el llamado a la oración islámica Esto... Pues... No, no, no hice mucho en Cairo porque nuestro guía era un ogro total. Ay, miren, aquí hay más barcos de estos de cruceros. Aquí al frente. Eh, ahorita vamos a comer en un restaurante que está al frente del río. Y pues eso es todo. Veré si les puedo filmar un poco más. Y hasta entonces.
look for the clips of uh, digging the, the the scenes and the inscriptions all of them all of them is really very deep no one he can change that history so It's be a war. Exactly, it's a war. For the first time, we find the king, uh, um, Shang, or joining his soldiers. View of the king, he must be king. The king, he must be uh, um, completely without any uh, sin or without any uh, any trouble inside. So here, that that room, mommy, there is no eternity. Yeah. Without mommy, there is no second life. No good. So, so anyone he already died, he must to uh, must. Uh, mummy fight by our god Anubis. Ah, Anubis, yeah. So he's got Anubis. I know, man. God Anubis, God of Mummy. God, after that, here. We get one like that first. Oh. And after that, like that. From here, from that alabaster. Then the beginning, and after that, the end. After a couple of weeks. Babe, babe, babe. Like that, like that, and then like that, and then like that. This is the beginning. This, this steps. You can. It's very light. It's very hard. Oh. Whoa. It's like one kilo more. <laughs> but after that, it became like that. Just with this chisel, I'm walking here and the chisel cross. So we got to cut stone, he cut that one, he got to start to draw, he walked in the machine, and then he draw, and after that, with his mizel, it was his chisel, he walking to chisel like that. Seven or eight days, then it will be finished. And after that, uh, it will be with color like that. And the stone, for example, that color, that stone. Natural color. Natural color? Yes. Like that. That stone. That stone. We are now in the first section, uh, the section of normal people. And the, the question what usually in our minds how they could build, building such as a huge pylons. Look here for that ramp, for that descending passage, such as a smart brick. It was the only system to building. They putting our their stones down on wooden uh, ground and then by rubs. Uh, um, rabbit well and boil it sometimes such as uh, that drops uh, damaged such as these stones fell down and all the people down they will be dead yeah. so too much people sacrifice themselves too much people died you know the building for our such spiders it is not uh, easy um, our blood were bleeding here and anywhere to building such as this violence and such this amazing temple here three troubles to uh, um, to worshiping our three gods Amura, Mood, Khonsu. So you traveled here, we are built in the time of King uh, Sifi II, one of the kings who ruled Egypt, it is dynasty, and he would like to uh, worship the three gods, so he built his uh, three chapels. The first chapel in the middle. Take your time, take your picture. So here, inside the three niches, uh, 
Um, we had three uh, golden sets for the Sigat Amora, most concert, but unfortunately, uh, we had stolen all of them. Everything is all gone. Uh, the, here, our king is standing. Usually, he uh, the left leg forward and the right one back. Look here, how is the position of his legs? The position of his legs, left leg forward, left uh, leg forward, and the right one back. Why? Why? Like that? Uh -huh. To say that my heart is still working, I'm still alive. My heart still work, I'm still alive. And he's like fighting everything in his hand for the three cards. Our Motron, the three cards as well. Here, look here. One more, you find our king as well with the same position. Sacrifice the three cards, Amora, for the uh, for the three cards, Amora, Motron. And fell down. So we have here supposed to find 10 columns. It was a uh, uh, weapon by our king Shahrat, which is dynasty late time, but unfortunately, because very, very strong uh, air spec uh, happened uh, 27 uh, after his cast, that. Well, now, really, in one of the amazing sites in the whole of Egypt, but well, now in the uh, uh, Columns Hall or the uh, greatest, uh, greatest hall of King Ram II, was 134 columns. columns hall. 134 columns we have here, existed here in that hall. It took more than 40 years to build. Weiter nicht. Stay. Hola, hola, mi gente. Ya hoy estamos al penúltimo día de irnos. Ya casi nos vamos. Si les soy honesta, ha sido un poco triste el asunto porque. Mi esposo estuvo enfermo y yo también estuve enferma. Yo estuve con gripe estomacal, que según he escuchado, es muy común contraerla aquí. Mi esposo también tuvo un poquito de gripe estomacal, pero él como que la paró a tiempo. Eh, pero él le dio un resfriado fuertísimo, está malo, malo. Y prácticamente hemos perdido... Eran dos semanas, hemos perdido una semana completa o por lo menos seis días estando enfermo ambos. Eh, ya, como les dije, casi nos vamos. No he tenido tiempo de bloquear mucho por dos razones. Una y es que los días que eh, eh, hicimos muchos tours, muchos tours y esos tours pues consumían prácticamente el día completo y los otros días estuvimos como ya les dije enfermo y no, eh, y no hicimos mucho. Mm, a ver, les muestro un poquito de mi vista por aquí. Acá está el Aquapark, si lo ven por aquí. Eh, ¿Qué más les iba a contar? Sí, les pido una disculpa porque la verdad es que hubiera sido lo máximo poder hacerles más videos. Otra cosa, cuando fuimos a los lugares turísticos eh, en los tours, no es que no era... O sea, en algunos lugares no era permitido filmar, pero en, eh, en otros sí, pero el problema estaba en que yo no quería ser irrespetuosa. Ustedes saben que estamos en un país musulmán y los hombres son como son. Esto... Um, mi esposo me decía que por respeto a nuestro guía turístico no estuviera firme y firme cada rato y hablándole a la cámara e ignorando lo que él decía porque a medida que íbamos a los lugares nos iban, ay, ¿cómo les digo? nos iban como diciendo la historia de dónde estábamos, qué, qué era eso y me entienden entonces pues yo trataba de hacer pequeñas tomas y así pues Capturar el momento sin ser irrespetuosa y aún así cuando fuimos a las pirámides en el Cairo Esto... Nuestro guía era un idiota, lo siento por decirlo, era un pendejo Y me hacía caras y estuvo enojado porque yo estuve haciendo muchos videos Y si van a ver, lo que les voy a mostrar es solo lo que... O lo que ya les mostré es las pocas tomas que pude hacer Yo filmaba pocos segundos solamente para no molestarles 
y de igual manera estuvo molesto y la verdad es que la pasé muy mal en el Cairo porque nuestro guía fue una horrible, horrible nuestro guía en el templo de Karnak fue mucho mejor pero igualmente el problema está en que los lugares son muy grandes entonces hay que ir muy rápido y si me paraba 15 minutos o 10 minutos en cada, en cada lugar hacerles un, eh, una historia y mostrarles con detalle no, no se podía, honestamente no se podía me hubiera gustado poder hacer más pero esta es la pura verdad espero que las pocas tomas que pude hacer les guste y pues que vean aunque sea un poquito de, de lo que fue nuestras vacaciones que más que todo, más que otra cosa hemos estado enfermos, no, casi no hemos disfrutado de la piscina o de la playa si les soy honesta solo hemos ido a la playa una vez eh, más las dos veces que, que fuimos a una isla que fue en un tour pero la playa aquí del hotel solamente hemos ido una sola vez de dos semanas un día a la piscina hemos ido creo que unas tres cuatro veces si les digo prácticamente nos hemos pasado en cama tomando medicina aunque no lo crean y las veces que hemos salido a tours en el medio de todo hemos estado malucos y bueno haciendo nuestra mejor cara y nuestro mejor esfuerzo porque ya habíamos pagado esos tours y teníamos que ir obviamente Sí, más o menos esa es la historia de todo Yo espero que por lo menos lo poco que les puedo mostrar Lo poco que les puedo compartir les guste Otra vez les pido una disculpa enorme Porque yo estuve prácticamente un año sin cámara eh, También con muy poquito tiempo Y no... Mi computadora incluso se dañó también Tuve que... Tuvimos que resetearla Esto... Pero bueno, yo espero poder estar de vuelta al canal eh, lo más constante que me permita mi vida diaria, porque obviamente, como cualquier ser humano, mi prioridad es mi trabajo, que es lo que me proporciona el sustento para vivir. Así que mientras que voy a tratar de retomar el canal lo más posible, pero pues va a ser como que cuando pueda subir un video. Yo espero que les haya gustado y me despido desde aquí, desde el Jazz Aqua Viva en Egipto. Y nos vemos en casa en el siguiente video. ¡Adiós!